Hey yo together and very welcome. Let me see. Yeah, very welcome to the Step of Two Crazy Replay. <coughs> Today on what's it called? Abyssal Reef Letter Edition with a nice TVP. And I have to say I haven't played for weeks, not to say months. Never nor nor have I cast so my my English skills, my play skills uh, went down quite a bit, I have to admit, but this shouldn't be uh, any problem here, I guess. So in the top left hand side, you have the red protos whips or sweeps or sweeps, sweeps. And in the bottom right hand side, in the blue, as Terra me Alex Asher. So let's see what's happened here. I have no clue what exactly happened in this game, which at one hand can be a big advantage because so I can resurprise myself. And that's nice. So this probe is very annoying. Yeah, but I am on top of it. That's nice. And where's my scout? I think I scouted. Yeah, there we go. So be careful. Don't let the gas deal happen. Oh, there we go. That's nice. You always need to do that. You don't need to, but uh, maybe you should. I mean, for me personally, it's always difficult to... Oh, Marine? Wow, that's unusual. Uh, it's very, very difficult for me personally. Did I scout the base? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, very, very difficult for me personally to see... Uh, to transition out of my build order if I get uh, gas stone, so... That's always difficult for me. It interrupts my build heavily. Especially this build. Now I know what I'm doing. I don't know how this game exactly goes. Mm, for the Protoss it seems fine. That's a, a waste of, of work I would say, but hey, that's, that's okay. At least it's fully saturated. Uh, but yeah, we get the factory. One marine just to scare the probe away. Mm, react afterwards, second gas, bam bam bam, standard stuff. And then of course um, there will be the uh, the starport and the reactor, the mine harassment, which is still a very powerful build. I have to say, if I would go back to play now, I would have no clue how to execute any build order other than the 111, which probably I still would do heavy mistakes uh, by executing that specific build. It's just if you don't play a lot and currently I just don't have time to play a lot, then what what are you supposed to do, huh? That icon is so annoying right there. Why is it there? Uh, I don't know. At least the marines are shooting here, we get the starport, the factory is done with the reactor. And he doesn't see it, he doesn't scout it, and he goes for a star raid. So, Mm, I would say the Twilight Council would be the best for me personally, uh, maybe. On the other hand, Stargate can work wonders as well, especially when he goes for some greedy third base, which he could do with the minerals he has, but he decides to poke in with two stalker and a mothership core, and his units can take on my marines here. They definitely can, and he will try to do this. Losing one, no, no stalker lost here. Now I need to pull marines. Uh, the stalker might get killed here. So he's dealing quite some good damage. Oh, uh, widow mines. Oh, what, what's that mess? Oh no. So he still survives with the stalker. And there we go, there's the boost. So he killed quite a lot. That, that's a lot of kills he got here, so that's that's nice. So now my widow mines need to do damage, real damage. So it looks like I can burrow, at least I can deny a lot of mining. Okay, so that's something, oh be careful what you're doing, oh no! Okay, that shouldn't be that bad, still 4 kills, so that's nice. And back behind bunker, okay that's a little bit preemptive I would say. A little bit panicking, but uh oh, this bit of mine. Another four kill hit, and this is still in the main base. So now his mining is interrupted heavily. He's on top of the proxy now. He might get the medivac. 
So there's the Vitamine. It will burrow. Yep. And. Okay, it shoots at the. At the core there. Still, this one Vitamine. So I didn't deal too much damage. 11 probes is nice. But. The indir uh, indirect. Oh my goodness! <laughs> 11 kills! <laughs> Ouch! That hurts. So. Yeah, he can clear it and he will eventually. But still, that's that's a mess. Now he's behind eight probes, so that's not good for him at all. I mean, for for me, it's not good that my micro, uh, my macro is so bad with the stim pack is late. I don't even have now uh, starport ready because it's floating in the air. This stalker is super annoying. There's those oracle could deal heavy damage, and they definitely will. Okay, so finally he clears it. But those two Oracle men, I don't have too many Marines. Where are they? Five there, that's it? What? No. Eight there. So that's okay, he turns back, interestingly. Oh, this will mine. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So here are the two Oracle. And they should find damage if he wants to. They definitely should find damage. I mean they have lots of energy and there they go. Oh, maybe not. Yes they do. Two kills and one mule and another SUV and oh, that's good damage. That's really good damage. Especially the mule hurts a lot. Mm, but I got my third base up. Not running but it's up so that's good. And I have way too much gas to be honest so that's not nice for me. He could any time soon do the revelation maybe? No? Ah, it goes for more worker kills. Not too bad. Oh, that was that was risky. So now the oracles are out of energy. He might lose one. Yep. And the second one will survive for now. So my macro is really not good. But he has supply kept as well. So that helps me out a lot here too keep my advantage even though I should have macroed way better. Normally even with the losses I took I should be at 100 supply now. Maybe 110 even. So that's really you can see how how much I could improve as a player if I want to. So here's the push out and if you look at the other side of the map there is not much room to defend. Yeah he got a pylon, photo cannon, some adapts. Mm, the choke point will help him definitely. But still, a very powerful push with stim, combat shields, concussive shells soon done as well. Yeah, concussive shells. So, there's a third base, there's an oracle. Killed some more worker, I guess. Oh, yeah, four more worker kills. Not bad. I don't know if I can really attack into this, but we will see. It looks like I'm going for it slowly but surely. Poking in with the Marauder. He could lift those if he wants to. Ah, oh, Photon Overcharge. He loses one Stalker. Barely. And I go full all in. Not fighting with the Widow Mine. Not fighting with those Marines for a long time. I'm losing a ton of units in the process. Might even lose the Medivac. The Widow Mine, however, will get a huge hit. Wow. So that Widow Mine helped a lot. Still, the Phoenix survived. And with the Mothership Core still intact. Or will it get focused down? Yes, it will. So that's nice. And overall, I would say that was a good trade for me. I lost mostly. I should have not lost the Medivacs, okay? Other than that, this was fine. Uh, he still is on two bases while I'm on three. But the, the saturation, I mean, I'm running on 35 SCVs, which is super bad if you think about it. I should be on at least 66 now. You know, maybe 72 if I want to. With the fourth base up, but yeah, that's that's not happening, not so far. I'm still on five racks instead of eight. Mm, the upgrades are horrible for me. Just one engineering bay. On the other hand, his upgrades are not looking so great as, uh, either. He sees the Vita mine, kills it, nice. And there comes the phoenixes. And they have a lot of energy so they can kill a lot of mules and SCVs. 
which they are doing. Uh, so technically, he's still in the game by any means. I mean, it's looking not too bad for him, to be honest. And the problem is I wasn't able to capitalize on my advantage I gained early on. With the 22 probe kills, I sh if I wouldn't have lost SCVs in the whole process and my macro would have been better, I could have closed out this game. Long time ago. But that's not how it went, so... Yeah. But hey, that's how it is, you know. At least my Bioforce is looking quite strong. Uh, so, but here's Splash. He's going into Colossi. Uh, Colossi, so. Colossi? Colossi? Colossus? What's the plural of Colossus? I don't know. Splash units, you know? Splash damage units. And I don't have any Vikings so far. The second starport just now on the way. Everything is delayed here. I also should get the eBay and the armory, the second one, I mean. ASAP, maybe have a bunker here, just in case. But I try to attack him. And I don't know if that will work up this ramp, through this path. It could work. I mean, my upgrades are looking better than his. Oh, does he see it? No. And there we go. There we go. A bit of mine gets a juicy shot off. But this army will get cleared for sure. But there's the big drop and he might lose this nexus. So while he clears this quite nicely, this is looking nasty and he's losing so many probes! Wow, the phoenixes are coming back, killing the medivacs, that's good for him. Mm, he might lose one colossus there, maybe all the phoenix, I don't know, maybe the mother should call, we'll see. Or he will just clear everything, which is not too bad, so... He didn't lose the nexus, that's nice, he cleared the entire army. And trade-wise, I would say that was better for him, definitely. But I killed a lot of probes, so that's at least a factor which is good for me. The fourth base is on the way, so that's nice. But I lost all my medivacs in the process, so I need to rebuild medivacs. Not only Vikings, still no reactor on the starport, as you can see, very bad. Still one eBay, I'm sticking on 1-1 one, one upgrades. That's not nice. He's on 0-0, zero, zero, and you have to, <laughs> you have to say, that's the fun part. This is a master level gameplay. I mean, come on! Where are the upgrades? Where's the macro? Where's the multitasking? Looks like we both don't belong into tier 1 master. But the system decides to, hey, no, you're fine, you're tier 1 master league, so... Pfft, screw that. And I don't know why, actually I would say that's, that's more or less a, a low master to high diamond game. To be honest, if, if I had to judge, which I don't want to, but look at that, 13 minute armory, bad. If I if I had to judge this game, I would say, yeah, no, those guys suck dick, sorry. Really, I mean, me included, definitely. I mean, look, look at this random drop, what on earth am I supposed to do with one single-handed Lonely dropship with eight marines. Nothing. Even if I wouldn't fly straight into those phoenix, it wouldn't do anything. It it just wouldn't. Oh my goodness. I ditched them. Wow, no I didn't. There goes the boost. <laughs> hey, that wasn't so good. Does he get it? Oh, he doesn't get it. Nice. Oh, he might lose a phoenix or two. He loses both. Look at that. So now his army looks very scary. He got Colossi, uh, the Disruptor, some Stalker without Blink, sadly. And But he's getting Blink, so that's fine for him. Now my army looks okay, but clumped up like that, I will take heavy losses. Still, my medevac count is so low. I should be on like 8 medevacs, I would say. But now, finally going up to 8 ranks and 3 starports with the Fusion Core. So maybe I'm going into Liberator, and Liberator, you know, they reign freedom for all of you. Freedom is in my hand, and I share it with everyone. Scouting Marines, suiciding there. Ah, oh, but the Vikings! <gasps> okay, so now I know he, know he has to have 
one observer there, otherwise he couldn't look up this cliff, but he can. You know, he can, because of this observer, wow, that's so nasty. Uh, but a very good placement, I have to say. Maybe you should uh, queue this observer onto one of those Vikings. But so far it's looking fine, and eight Vikings are... Lol, that blink. There we go, one observer down, the second observer down, and now he doesn't see up again anymore. I mean, so that's good for me. Oh, but that blink was so good. I'm moving in, dodging the... Ooh! And now there's nothing left. The Viking's still enough to kill the Lonely Colossus. I don't think he has any charges left. Not quite yet. There we go. Oh, where's it going? Nice kill, but is it enough? Zero one against one one. Viking's landed. And it looks like I can just steamroll over him. He, over him here. Now. Oh, this disrupted job gets nothing done. This Nexus is toast. That wasn't too bad, but still it's not enough. That one, not even hitting anything. And I'm streamlining across the map now. 2-2 two, two on the way, almost finished. Now I have a big upgrade advantage. 0-1 against 2-2, two, two, that definitely should favor me. Income wise, yeah it's looking quite even. Army wise, I'm way ahead and he doesn't have mu much splash. The good thing is against color, if against Disruptor, I have to say. It's a double-edged sword. You can hit decently and kill like 18 units, I don't know, maybe 10 in one single shot. Could potentially be 20 supply if it's all Marauder. Or you hit nothing because you can't aim or your opponent can dodge those or split this unit so to minimize the damage. And with Colossus it's not that easy. They are not that much of a burst like source of damage. Oh, this 12th Marauder drop is so strong. But can I defend? I now need to defend. I see him there. Good thing I still got the rocks there. So where are the Liberator? They are coming now. There is the drop coming. So this is now check. And if he can't deal damage here, then that's definitely checkmate. Uh, the shot, the shot's getting huge shots. Look at that. That's exactly what I said. But is it enough? Those disruptor into the planetary, not enough. Blinking under the Liberator in the uh, planetary fortress and the Vikings. While back at home he gets shrecked to pieces. And that's it. GG. So that was a wild game. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.